YouTube, what's going on? It is your boy Coach Jamel. Got some new hardware. Um, Coach J, if you're more familiar with me, um, if you're new to this channel, please like, subscribe, and comment because the content on this channel will take you through the eyes of a former player, a coach, an advocate of the game, and more importantly, an entrepreneur of a lot of things, um, especially in the tennis world. I have so much in store for you guys. So I hope you enjoy today's video. If you're looking at the title, then you know this is about the top five tech and rackets um, either coming this year or this prior year that will bring your game and excel your game to the next level so use the right tools get the right success and I will see you in one second all right number one so for my first racket okay guys don't click off after I tell you this the TIS six yes the racket that comes pretty strong yes the gray blob the big giant head size so why would i use it as my number one the biggest reason why i use it as my number one is because it can migrate to a different style of racket so a lot of people who play with the tis6 they want to play with a more advanced racket they can jump right into the head instinct See, that's smart. So you go from a $79 or $89 price point to a $175, $185 price point with a lot newer technology. Um, the Graphene 360 in them, they uh, are really soft, really easy to maneuver. Rack is that really tailored to a beginner and an intermediate style player, depending on which variation of the instinct you use. So the TIS-6 is definitely my number one. TIS-6, great place to start so you can migrate into the world of tennis and so you can really enjoy the game without breaking the bank too bad. All right. Number two um, is the boost line from Babolat. Babolat has really done something amazing with their rackets. Um, and they're really trying to up their tech. I wish you guys could see what's coming next. That is the smartest tech that you can possibly get. It's dumbed down a little bit. It's still got the same similar feels that the higher end models have. Can't beat it. All right, number three. Um, whew, man, by the way, Tropicana, you guys hooked me up this morning. Um, this video is not sponsored by Tropicana. It's just my orange juice that I like. Um, move that out the way. So, number three um, is the Wilson Burn. Um, a lot of people are going to say, uh, Jamel, what are you doing? What are you thinking? The Wilson Burn, not the Blade, not the Ultra, not the Pro Staff. Yes, the Wilson Burn. And the reason I say the Wilson Burn is because it is a very good price point. Not only you get them for looking at around 100 to like 150, depending on which variation, but they're very much customizable. Um, a player looking to get into it, like I said, again, without breaking the bank, you can get a really solid Wilson Burn for 100, 150 bucks. It's got a little bit of everything and it's not always the most amazing racket at the time um want to really get the most out of it and really kind of set your feet into the wilson line i would honestly recommend start with the burn the burn is soft it's easy to maneuver it's not super head heavy or head light it's just flexible enough for any player to start off with and get exactly what they need and also it's customizable Drop a couple of, you know, drop some weight in there, and for the head of the frame, or, or at the, um, at the three and the nine point, you know, play around with the grip size and things like that. This is a racket that, like I said, does not break the bank, but you can get the most out of this racket. Just be aware, man. Jumping into the burn line, any beginner player looking to kind of up their game, they kind of really get to tell what they need and what they don't need out of this. Honestly, my personal preference, I would honestly recommend the Wilson Burn 100, not so much the 100S, even though you're going to find more 100S's, even on the website, they don't even have a 100 on here. I'm looking at it as, as we speak. Um, they have a Burn 100 team, but not just a regular Burn 100. But if you're looking to start learning how to play with some spin and things like that, um, and like I said, you're looking at doing lessons in places like that. 
man you can't go wrong with the burn like i said it's customizable add a little bit of of you know inserts here dampening the vibration you know throw in a dampener there change out the strings really get a feel for this racket so number three on my list the wilson burn what we got for number four Whew. all right guys are gonna be tripping out on this one yonix e-zone 100 light not the 300 gram, the 286 gram or 85 gram, I believe. It's 10.1 ounces. It is a lighter version of the E-Zone. They do have a 10.6 as well. But why? Why, Jamel? Why, Yonix? Why? All right, I'll tell you guys why. The biggest thing is the E-Zone 100 light um, is easy to use. Oh my gosh. This racket provides a really solid, comfortable feel. It gives you enough power, enough control to really do what you want. Um, right now, the older model of, or this model right here, which is the older model, um, they came out l earlier last year. Man, it is one of those things that if you haven't played with it, you need to. Um, I honestly prefer a heavier racket. Um, I'm more into like the 10, 9, 11 ounce rackets. Um, and I like to do a lot of customizing on my own particular rackets. But if you're trying to get into the game again, you're not ready to break the bank on a tech, but you know that you can grow with this racket. Man, the Yonix to ease on 100, not a bad choice. Enough spin, enough pop. Um, you can always add to a racket like this. You can always add to the weight of a th of a racket like this. And if you're really ready to get the new tech, go ahead and drop that money on the new one. Um, amazing feel, man. I love what Yonix is doing. Um, and to be perfectly honest, man, Yonix is coming up. If you guys haven't tried a Yonix racket, please do. Honestly, my perfect recommendations, if you are gonna jump into the line of Yonix, the E-Zone line, uh, preferably the 100 line if you're kind of new to the game, um, or the V-Core 100. Those two right there, sick. All right, and number five is the Wilson Ultra. Um, the whole line, not just one, whole line, man. The biggest thing about the Wilson Ultra line is, guess what, it's just enough power, it's just enough control. Um, really easy to get spin off of that thing. And the price point right now with the Wilson Ultra with the countervail, man, you can't beat that. You're looking at as cheap as 129 bucks to about expensive like 179, 175. You can even find them even slightly used for a little bit cheaper than that. Um, but the best thing about the Wilson Ultra line right now, um, because I can't wait for March to see, see you guys and see the new Wilson Ultra. But the best thing about the Wilson Ultra line is it's easy to maneuver. It's easy to use. It's lightweight if you want to get the UL or the L version. Um, the balance is really solid. Uh, the biggest, biggest, biggest thing about the Wilson Ultra is anybody can play with this thing. Um, just like the Wilson Burn, just like the E-Zone 100 Lite, just like the TIS-6. Anybody can play with these rackets, just like the Boost Line. Anybody can play with these rackets. And it's the smartest tech because you can always interchange into a more an advanced tech. So it fits your beginner players, it fits your advanced players. Um, and that's the biggest thing. Anybody who I've ever sold a racket to, anybody who I've ever had contact with, and they ask me, what's the best racket? Um, my biggest thing is the best racket is a racket that fits your game and your skill. Um, so maybe the boost line doesn't fit you, but the pure drive does. Maybe the arrow line of the boost doesn't fit you, but the arrow does. And those things are always interchangeable. It's really, really, really hard to go into it, get a recreational racket that's pretty strong, that um, is really not the best for your game. Um, and then you come up and you look at it and you say, hey, uh, yeah, this doesn't work. Um, you can tell the difference between a $25, $30 Walmart racket 
and more of a higher end rack like a 79 89 dollar price point as a beginner up until the the 150s and the 160s and the two somethings so you guys i hope you enjoy um please take everything i said into consideration because it is important that you pick the right tech for your game um just a small announcement yeah so just a small announcement um i will be teaching a tennis essentials class um at uh, the particular location that i work at if you want more information on that um please leave a comment down below last but not least um tennis essentials so um I developed a um a small course it'll be in segments but i will have that video posted uh very soon for you guys so you guys can really get the best out of what tennis essentials are the right rackets and the right tech that you need for your particular game style the strings that you kind of need for um for what you need to perform whether it's a power center string a control center string a comfort string a spin string or a combination of any of those two and how to use those string combinations as well as that racket value and and all the things that it brings to the table how to put those together to get the best for your game um so the class will be uh post it very soon um i will have the official date for that class um coming up and so i want you guys to really 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 hone in on that that'll be a longer segment but uh, i will split it up into parts so i have a part one and a part two so you guys can really get the best out of it i uh, thank you guys so 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 much uh, for all of your support i have so much content for you guys i promise you guys all right so thank you guys for everything you do Please like, comment, and subscribe. Support the channel. Leave your comments. And uh, you guys have a great day.